Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to interface Arduino with PIR sensor. So log in to your Tinkercad, click on create new circuit, then search for Arduino then we will be requiring PIR sensor then we will be requiring let's say one LED this LED we are going to use now let's do the connectivity for PIR and LED. PIR sensor has three pins, ground, power and signal. So we will start the connection for ground pin. Ground pin will be connected to ground of Arduino like this. Then we will connect power like this let's change its color red now we will connect data pin of PIR sensor to pin number 2 of Arduino board. Like this, we will do the connectivity. Now we will connect LED. For that purpose, we will be requiring register. So this register we will use to connect LED. It will be connected for pin number 13 of Arduino then that connectivity part will be like this okay this pin will be connected like here it will be here pin number 13 of LED will be connected here like this. So LED is connected, PIR sensor is connected. Now my next task is I want to write the code. What PIR sensor will do? PIR sensor will going to detect the obstacle and it will glow the LED. So in the coding part, we have the coding of PIR and Arduino. So that coding part will be written over here. I will explain the code. Before that, let's try to execute. We will see the output part. So click on start simulation. Simulation is started. Now click on the push button of PIR it will show object like this now move this one now see this ob object is now from inside the range to outside range LED is not glowing now I will move this slowly into the range you can see LED is turn on and the color of range is green. If I will move it outside, it will be red and LED will be turned off. Again, try to execute this. You can see LED is on LED. In between range, if there is an obstacle, LED will be turned on. And if that obstacle moves outside of the range of that PIR sensor, LED will be turned off. This is what the functionality of PIR sensor is. So let us see 
what is there in the code in this code we have used one integer variable named as button state its initial value is zero then there are two function void sorry there are two functions setup and loop in setup we are going to set two pins one will be for your pir sensor and another is for your led so we are going to use pin number 2 of arduino for giving the input so pin mode 2 of arduino for input purpose and led built in pin for output purpose so these two pins are set first pin is for your input of pir sensor second pin is for showing the output of led now in the loop function we are going to read the status of pir that pir sensor is connected on pin number two that's why on pin number two what is the state that will be read with the help of digital read function so digital read in bracket pin number whatever will be the value that particular value will be stored in the button state variable if the value of button state is high means if the object is detected then led will be high if the object is not detected then led will be low and we have given the delay in this function so this is how pir sensor will work for object detection let's see the output part once again so that you will come to know how it will work click on the start simulation it is started now click on the push button of pir you can see the object is outside the range now i will move it inside the range led is on currently it is inside the range that's why led is continuously on when i will move it from outside you can see led will be turned off thank you